Some people are cynical about Christmas. They say it's become too commercialized, that we've lost sight of its meaning. But I've always found Christmas to be a magical time of year. Everything shines a little more brightly. The ice glinting off the tree branches, the lights twinkling from store windows, the love sparkling in that special someone's eyes. There he stands, always by your side, your faithful knight in shining armor, your destiny. Your path is clear, your future secure. You're bursting with excitement as together you embrace whatever the new year brings. New adventures, new romance, new... Wait, you're breaking up with me? Well, I just think I'm holding you back from your full potential. You've got to be kidding. Oh, you could be a real risk taker, Maggie. Um, three scoops of rainbow sherbet kind of girl. When right now you're just kind of vanilla. You're using an ice cream metaphor to break up with me? I thought you could relate. <sighs> You know what, you could do way better than me. Well, actually, let's just say you could do better. <laughs> I know this uh, all might feel a little bit sudden, but um, I just want you to know if you need someone to talk to, I'm right here. Maggie. Maggie, 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 Maggie. Catch you later. <sighs> he said he was holding me back. Have you ever heard anything so lame? Maybe he was right. What? You're supposed to be my friend, Rosemary. Commiserate. Tell me how rotten he is. <laughs> I don't know what advice column you read that in. But lately, you have seemed kind of stuck. Stuck? Like you're in a holding pattern in the sky, endlessly circling the airfield. I swear, if anyone else uses a metaphor today, I'm going to throw up. I'm never dating again. Your guy's out there somewhere, Maggie. You just gotta find him. You ready? But it's not even Christmas yet. Ta-da! Oh. <gasps> A dog? <laughs> I know it's early, but Amos was going away, and I guess it's just fate. Oh, best Christmas present ever. Hi, buddy. Oh. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. So, technically, you're at the office right now? The sports writing, sweetheart. This is my office. Mm. Hey there! We're going door to door in your neighborhood, letting y'all know that we're going to be renovating the Anderson place. You for that show, right? Yep, making dreams come true. We'll be kicking up some dust over the next few weeks. We're doing a Christmas special for the Andersons' home. They were about to be foreclosed on. You know, Margie, she lost her job after that accident. We're flying in her sons from a study abroad program for Christmas. She's got six kittens, all named after different fabrics. It's basically TV gold. I wanted to say I really like your show, and anything I learned about crown moldings, I learned from you guys. Oh, well, isn't that nice? <laughs> so, this is a fixer-upper? Uh, no, I've been living here for almost 10 years. Oh! <coughs> I'm sorry, am I interrupting something? <coughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is Bear. <laughs> but, well, he doesn't look like a bear. Sure he does. Got her from my daughter for Christmas. Oh, so you're married? Was, past tense. Well, if you have any questions about the show, feel free to call me. Any questions at all. 
don't start. You know, Mom, statistically, women who watch public television have much higher IQs than those who watch this stuff. Just saying. What are you working on there, smarty pants? English assignment. What I want for Christmas. It's kind of juvenile. What do you want? The Encyclopedia Britannica? Actually, I want a dog. Did you know dog owners tend to live longer? and report generally higher levels of life satisfaction. Dog owners also have better eyesight. I'm still trying to figure that one out. Yeah, ADD. Yeah, I think so too. Come on, can we just, you wanna try it? I'm gonna roll it and you're gonna nudge it. There we go, see? I taught him that not too weak. Good boy. That's good. Brainstorming? Yep. Oh, is this for the creamery I came Yep. A little tip? Mr. Harvey believed to focus on vanilla for the holiday flavor. Where did you hear that? Friend in corporate told me. Ben and Jerry's is coming out with a new line, all vanilla. Mr. Harvey wants to beat him to market. Just a little inside scoop. Get it? Why are you telling me this? I heard Chance dumped you. Brandon! Yeah, I thought it was cold, so... If you need a shoulder to lean on, I'm here. Two shoulders. Don't listen to him, Maggie. You can't trust that man. for animal control. Tattoo and no microchip. Mystery dog. Let's hope your owner returns for you soon, boy. Otherwise, it's the pit and the pendulum for you.
excuse me. What's your selling? Uh, no, I'm looking for bear. Bear? <laughs> we haven't had bear here in ages. A lot of raccoons, but no bear. No, it's, bear's my dog. He's a big yellow lab. I lost him. Oh, that dog. You've seen him? Uh, of course I've seen him. And digging up my flower beds last week. Uh, yeah, that was probably him. Uh, Sorry. Just got him. Last night I woke up, he'd snuggled under my arm. Oh. Did you ever have a dog? We had a little pug for three weeks when I was a kid. We called him Mr. Grumpy. Hmm. He was my best friend. What happened to him? He went to live on a farm. I don't have any of those cute little dogs. You know, the kind that can snuggle under your arm. It's a Christmas gift for my son. Well, this is the only dog we have right now. He's kind of big. Yeah, but check out what we can do. Cool, huh? Wrong. Sh should I call 911? No, nothing's wrong. Come here, silly. <gasps> Merry Christmas, sweetie. <laughs> no way!
Hey, we're looking for our dog. Just call the number if you see him, please. Thank you. Worst Christmas ever. Don't worry, sweetie. We'll find him. Excuse me. Hi. We lost our dog. For a dog. Just call Just the number. Just keep an eye out. Thanks. How did you? Paisley. <sighs> Maggie. Maggie. She's uh, concentrating. Miss McPhail. Is this good? Oh, yeah, like, that works. Oh, these are cool. So I've got you down for 12. Great, okay. You're late. Don't start. You're never late. Oh, seriously. I know, I never know. Oh, shoot. Oh. Good luck. And we'll blow them away with our newest flavor, snowflake vanilla. Light. That's fine, Maggie. We appreciate your input. Uh, perhaps you missed uh, the memo. Well, we've decided to go in a different direction this year. <clears throat> Today's consumer is sophisticated, and they're demanding sophisticated flavors. So plain old vanilla just doesn't work anymore. That's why I've designed a new line of gourmet ice cream, sure to please even the most discriminating palates, all with a holiday theme. Holiday rainbow to encompass all holidays. Oh, peppermint candy cane. Hot chocolate with marshmallows, a little bit of home with a little bit of holiday. Mr. Harvey, if you just give me a chance, I have lots of ideas that I, I just feel we need to take a different path. 
different path? Change tour guide, so to speak. I don't think that's necessary. I'm I, putting Brendan in charge of the Creamery account. But I brought that account in. I realize that it pains me to have to do this, but we've got to face facts. We're hitting a dead end. If we don't change course, we're just spinning our wheels. Mom, I love Paisley, but did you ever think the real reason you got a dog was to meet your own needs for companionship? What? Don't be silly. I got him for you. I mean, I'm really glad you did, but first off, it's not Christmas yet. Well, I couldn't just let him rot in that cage. Second, according to my research, pets are often used as a substitute for meaningful human relationships. What are you reading? I need to get you a comic book or something. Put down. Some chick came in and adopted him. Christmas gift for her kid. Oh, do you have her address? No, we're not supposed to give out personal information like that. Next, way cooler, man. Thanks. Uh -huh. Oh, I miss to chew, buddy. You said on the phone you think he's your dog. Yeah, yeah, he's my dog. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't even introduce myself. I'm Jack. I adopted him from my neighbor. But you abandoned him. No, I didn't abandon him. He ran away. If you ran away, then obviously he wasn't happy with you. He is very happy with me, I'll have you know. Very happy. He wasn't very happy sitting on death row. If I hadn't rescued Paisley, who knows what would have happened. Paisley? What's wrong with that? Uh, well, he's a guy for one thing. At least, I hope he still is. So what do you call him? His name is Bear. Bear. What kind of a stupid name is that for a dog? Hey, hey. Why don't hey. you just call him Champ or Killer or something? Killer? Killer. Bear? Uh, look, I think a dog's name should suit what the dog is and not what you want him to be. And this dog is clearly not a Paisley. Paisley, no matter what sweater you make him wear. Look, I understand you're disappointed, OK? I get it. But let's be reasonable. I'm his owner. You were his owner. I'm his owner now. I got him for my daughter for Christmas. I got him for my son for Christmas. All right, all right. Let's just let Bear decide, OK? Let Paisley decide what? Who his owner is. Or are you scared? No. Good. Hang on a sec. You don't have treats in your pocket, do you? Come on, Bear. Paisley. Come on. Come on. Good boy. boy. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. See that? Straight to me. Well, that solves that. It's hard to be lost. It's been nice. Come here. Come on, boy. 
Just been saved from certain humiliation. Pays me. You never live that one down. He's impossible. Who? Jack. Right. What do you mean, right? You've been complaining about him all morning. He deserves it. He's heartless. Right. Something on your mind. Do you realize that I've heard more about this Jack in the past two hours than I heard about Chance in the past two years? That's because Jack is evil incarnate. Oh, and Chance was what? Sweetness and light? Good morning, ladies. Oh. He looks sad. Buddy. It's okay, buddy. What's wrong? Maybe you can get him a new dog. He loves that dog. Maybe he can love another one. What a shocker. You missed me, didn't you, buddy? Didn't you? You missed me. You like me more than screws, right? Hey, right? I heard that. Come on, man, let's go. Oh, can he stay? Stay. Just for a little while. Mm, it's not a good idea. Uh, I'll bring him back later. No, it'll just confuse him. He's already acting weird. Sorry. See ya. Let's go, Bear. Come on. Bye, Paisley. do better if we're ever going to stand a chance against our competitors in the marketplace. We're not the only ones with holiday flavors. We need to stand out. This is really all you've come up with. Show me a good idea. Anyone, surely. Uh, 
Your prisoner escaped again. He probably burrowed under the fence. Bear, inside. Do you ever think you might prefer a more peaceful environment? What do you mean? All this. No wonder he keeps sneaking back to me. Okay, maybe I'm not so obsessively neat like some people. I know what a dog needs. A place to hang out and relax. Yeah, this is real relaxing. So, my last pet, before the puppy, was named Genghis. Genghis Cat. So named for his warlike tendencies. No guy I brought home was ever safe, especially if I was dating them. In fact, sometimes I had to actually keep him in a separate room. Until Norman. Norman, Genghis loved immediately. Sometimes animals just have an instinct about these things. Genghis. <laughs> Thanks for the new fencing. Well, he won't be able to get out now. <laughs> You must know. Yeah. What is that? Why else would he look so sad? Yeah. Why else? What do you want? Uh, I, I can't take it anymore. He's driving me crazy. Paisley? Listen, I got a proposal for you. A proposal? Yeah, I think we should share him. You're kidding. Just think of it as a, a custody arrangement, except without all the messy emotional stuff, the 3 a.m. phone calls, the rage, the weeping. You're serious? This is... Unexpected. Unexpected in a good way, or? Yes, of course, in a good way. Thank you. Bear? Oh. Come here, Bear. Oh. Paisley. Oh. Hi. Hey. Look, I just have a couple of conditions. One, please, no more Paisley. OK, fair enough. And two, please do something about your backyard. What's wrong with my yard? It's nicer than yours. Exactly. It's too nice. Everything's fenced off, and there's even a bunch of topiaries back there. So? So, Bear needs room to roam, um, places to dig, the freedom to be a guy. You're going to turn him into a girly dog. That's ridiculous. Plus, there's nowhere for him to go when the weather warms up. He's going to need some shade, so plant a tree or something. You know, go green. Ah, oh, your father's an idiot, you know that? Come here. Come here. Yes. Sometimes life throws you a curveball, as Jack would say. You think you're heading down the frozen food aisle and find yourself all turn around. Next thing you know, instead of a pint of rocky road, you're staring at a bag of frozen peas, wondering, how in the world did this end up in my cart? Through the snow, in a one-horse open sleigh, over the fields we go. Or you're knitting, and you drop a stitch, and have to backtrack to figure out where things went wrong. Or 
Oh, all right. Enough metaphors. You get the idea. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Maybe Mr. Harvey described it best of all. You're adjusting course. Those dreams you've held onto for so long come crashing down. That knight in shining armor falls off his horse. Just to give you an example. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride. And soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lame. Misfortune seemed his lot. He got into a drifted bank and then we got upside. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. change, in other words, when you're least expecting it, and it can really throw you. But maybe, just maybe, if we learn to embrace that change, good things can come out of it. Who knows? Maybe someone will bound into our lives one day, totally out of the blue, and before we know it, we've got a new best friend. Is that for school? It's a doghouse. How's it going? Well, I think I'm more of the idea man. We will rebuild. <laughs> I'll be over here if you need a technical consultation. OK, what can I do? Well, first you can help me by removing some of these creative choices. What you reading there? Sorry, he gets kind of preoccupied when he reads. Well, that's all right. So how did you get into the ice cream business? No, seriously, I want to know. I've always loved ice cream. Ever since I was a kid. I was like one of Pavlov's dogs. Every time that ice cream truck would hit the bell, I'd start salivating. I'd come flying out the door, clutching my dollar. Yeah, me too. I used to dream about owning my own ice cream shop, inventing new flavors. Oh, yeah? Like what? Just weird combinations, like habanero banana. Ooh. Don't knock it till you try it. The banana smooths out the spice. That's uh, really creative. Ben and Jerry should hire you. I'm serious. You came up with that all on your own. No Grateful Dead song titles for you. Very cool. Why are you being so nice? There have been studies. Studies? Yeah, you know, uh, how dogs can sense when their owners are upset. I just think it's better for him if we try to get along. Definitely. Yep. Absolutely. So, move these over here. Fix oh. that later. There we go. Nice, right? Yeah, it is. Thank you. Let's take a picture. Oh, no, really, you don't. Oh, no, come on. This is Bear's first Christmas okay. gift. We Just need to commemorate the occasion. Ethan, you want to get in here? Come on. Come on, Bear. Come on, Bear. Come on, Bear. Come in. Come on, Bear. 
smile. Perfect. See? It's got character, right? I'll say. Just needs some love. The doghouse? Yeah. Ethan built it. It's it's a bit wonky, but yeah. I'll bet he knows how to fix it. Jack? That's Jack? Didn't you call him evil incarnate? Well, maybe that was a little harsh. I think he might actually be kind of nice when he wants to be. Maybe. Right. All right, don't look at me like that. Maybe she's not so bad. Wow, that looks amazing. Art history major. Got a master's degree, believe it or not. In student loans for the next 10 years to prove it. What do you want to do with your degree? Sports writer. Oh. That's interesting. <laughs> and my ex-wife used to say the same thing. No, I, th I think it sounds like a great job. I wanted to teach. And I did for a while. It just wasn't me. Was student advisements. Those long classroom hours, endless papers to grade. Ugh. So I wasn't getting to spend enough time with my daughter. She's alone too much already. Yeah. I worry about the same thing with Ethan. My husband passed away five years ago. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's especially hard when Christmas comes around, you know? Without the other person there. Yeah. For Ethan, too. Okay. Yeah. So, how did you end up writing sport? I had a friend that worked at a local newspaper. He knew that I could talk for days about batting averages and third down conversion rates. So he recommended me. And you like it? Oh, yeah, I'm getting paid to talk about sports. All this time I was doing it for free. I can't do this. OK, fair enough. <laughs> OK, <laughs> I'll, I'll do okay. this one. <laughs> Something you need? <clears throat> no, uh, yeah. For you. Oh. Thanks. You're seeing somebody new and you didn't tell me. I'm not seeing anyone. Not that it's any of your business. Jack's just a friend. Oh, and, and what does this friend do? He's a sports writer. Really? Well, that's uh, unique. <laughs> it is unique. He's funny. What? Nothing. Well, funny's good. You know, if you're if you're into that sort of thing, like your last boyfriend. Uh... Chance. Chance. Yeah, Chance. Yeah, no, he wasn't funny at all. He had no sense of humor, which which I can tell you now since uh, since he dumped you. Jack's not my boyfriend. Not yet. Not ever. I don't think of him like that. You know that. I didn't think of my mom in that way either. Then one day I looked at him and said to myself, you know, Rosemary, 
He's actually a good catch. I am. <laughs> and he'd been there all along. I just hadn't seen it. Come in. I have 40 minutes until we shoot. I think we need to renovate. Hmm. We could do something modern. What do you think? An oriental theme, I think. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's brilliant. <laughs> what you looking at, huh? Uh, well, uh... It is the most beautiful garland you have ever seen in your entire life. I mean, there are parts of it that are real gold. 24 karat gold. Can you even imagine that? And then I also found these trees that are grown up in Canada. They're huge. They're like 50 feet. So then they told me, you can't have a 50 foot Christmas tree inside the house <laughs> because it's impractical. And I told them, can't is not in my vocabulary. I mean, sure, the ceilings will be high, but so what? The tree will look so beautiful. Oh, and then I also got these ornaments. They were like the prettiest pink you've ever seen. And if you put a light underneath them, they just sparkle and shine like you have never seen before. Imagine something that's both hot and cold. The perfect marriage between sweet and spicy. The first flavor in our new line is a fiesta in your mouth. Habanero banana. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. How could you? It was a good idea. I just expanded on it. But it was my idea. Yeah, one you didn't copyright. You should really learn to protect your ideas better. It's a doggy dog world. I didn't expect to get stabbed in the back again. Huck, there's no room for sentimentality in a competitive workplace. You should know that by now. What happened to you, Brennan? You know, I used to be so cutthroat. I grew up. You should consider it too. Look, Maggie, I don't care if you like me or not, but right now you're working for me and we're in danger of losing this account altogether if we don't come up with something innovative fast. See this finger? Look at it. I can't keep it in the dam forever. Eventually, it's gonna break. You understand me? And I promise you, it won't be me holding the mop to clean up the mess. I'm in trouble. If I don't come up with something quick, I'm gonna lose my job. But we've still got the final holiday presentation coming up. That's a big one for us. You know what you need? Waffles. Brain food. I can't believe he stole your habanero idea. Brennan's a jerk. What? No, nothing. I used to think that you were a little bit of a jerk. Me? Yeah, you. When you stole Bear the first time. I didn't steal him, you abandoned him, remember? I'm gonna take the kid and the dog to the park. But I want waffles. Come on. Why do we have to go to the park? Stop whining, kid. Our parents need alone time. Why? Why do you have to ask so many questions? I'm inquisitive. More like annoying. What's this for? Poop. Why do I have to carry the poop? Because you're littler. And I can beat you up if I want. Are you right-handed? Yeah. Why? You were lying about beating me up. Because when right-handed people lie, their eyes go up and to the right. Don't test me, kid. My name's not Kid, it's Ethan. All right, kid. Look how well they're getting along. Ice cream on a log, Christmas with a dog. You sound like Dr. Seuss. <clears throat> well, rhyming does keep my synapses snapping. <sighs> oh. Okay, let's just say that all ideas are born out of need, right? Necessity is the mother of invention? Exactly. 
My dance room card. Um, explain? Well, it was invented at the 1904 World's Fair. An ice cream vendor ran out of cups, so we made a deal with the guy in the next food stand. And, voila, the waffle cone was warm. Oh, hang on. So what you're saying is that the first ice cream cone was invented by a waffle maker. Okay. So I guess, just gotta find out what your waffle cone is. Guys, it's casual Friday. What's with the suit? Ooh, tick tock. No pressure. Don't let him get to you. You'll think of something. You always do. Can Olivia babysit Ethan tonight? You wanna watch TV? No. You wanna eat something? No. Just gonna knit that sweater all night? Yep. You know who knits? People. Not really. Ever. Where did you learn how to do that anyway? Internet. It's a pretty big sweater for you. It's for my mom for Christmas. You're giving your mom a sweater for Christmas. It's not just any sweater. That's weird. What are you getting your dad for Christmas? A gift card? Now that's weird. <laughs> What's up to, buddy? Huh? Hey. You think I don't know you unlocked the latch? How did you do that? Hey, Magpie. I bought you something. Surprise. Hi. I can't believe you just show up like this. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking before. I, I was such an idiot. I never should have let you go. Technically, you didn't let me go. You dumped me. Okay, yeah, you're right. I don't know what I was thinking. It was stupid. It was probably the worst decision I've ever made. Maggie, I missed you. Give chance another chance. Because <laughs> I know you want to. Things are different now. There's someone new in my life. Jack? How did you know that? I mean, the holidays are such an emotional, vulnerable time for people, and I'd hate to see some guy try to take advantage of you. So, did a little surveillance. You've been spying on me? Believe me, you'll be glad I did. Okay, your Prince Charming, Jack, is already seeing somebody. No, he isn't. No, you're wrong. Come oh, that chick from the Home Improvement Show? Uh, home Rescue? 
The one that always wears pink. Tiffany? Tiffany, that's the one, the smoking hot one. I don't believe you. I think you're just jealous. Well, you could just go ask Jack. That's what I do, I just ask Jack. Of course, he's probably gonna lie to you, because he's a liar. So, we can do granite countertops, the crown molding could be fixed, and then, of course, stainless steel appliances is a must. Come in. Oh, let me just get that. Your collar's just flipped oh. here. <laughs> hey, Maggie. Um, I should go. Uh something wrong? I have no idea. You say I told you so, I swear I'm gonna claw your eyes out. You took him back. Chance is chance, and Jack's not interested. It's that simple. Oh, Maggie. Don't owe Maggie me. How would you like to be alone at Christmas? Hey, good boy. I'll return him on Sunday. Do you still need a sitter for Ethan? No, I'll hire someone. Oh, we don't mind. It's fine. Maggie? What's going on? Nothing. Hey, well, how come you haven't been answering my phone calls? I've just been busy, you know. Work. Oh, okay. Well, how's that project going? It's not. Thanks for dropping Bear off. Did I hear Jack's truck? Uh-huh. Or isn't he coming in? No, sweetie, he's not. <laughs> and we've got 500 candy canes. The entire staircase is gonna be made out of candy canes. Did I tell you that already? Yeah. Oh, what I didn't tell you is that the garage is gonna, is going to be a giant gingerbread house. <sighs> Yeah, the architect keeps telling me that it's wildly unsustainable Tiffany. and it will collapse in the rain, but Tiffany. I told him no home rescue house, gingerbread or not, is going to collapse Tiffany. under my Tiffany. What? I can't keep doing this. Doing what? This. The, the long walks, the endless talks about comically large Christmas decorations. It's got to stop. Stop? But why? I... I think I'm in love with somebody else. Oh, honey, I know that. You do? Why, sure. I mean, the moment I saw you two together, I knew. We women have an intuition about these things. Hang on, so you're not, like, upset? Upset? Why would I be upset? Oh, Jack, you didn't think that I was falling for you, did you? <laughs> I mean, it's not completely beyond the realm of possibility. Some women do find me attractive. <laughs> you're too funny. No, you're just my diversion. Diversion? Well, sure. Do you know how bored I get in that trailer day in, day out? Same stupid people, same stupid drama. You've helped me stay sane over the last few weeks. I am deeply in your debt. H hang on a second. Let me get this straight. So you don't find me at all attractive? <laughs> Oh, 
I don't. Was that my email? Mm -hmm. No, it's uh, mine. It's okay to have a longing for human companionship. What? It means you're on the road to self-actualization. Well, at least I'm on the road somewhere. So glad you got a babysitter. We finally get some uh, time to ourselves. Oh, right. It's not for you, buddy. Sorry. Um, is he gonna stay there this whole time? Just ignore him. I like it. What? Your hair. Oh. Yeah, there's something different, something not the same. It's great. I didn't change anything with my hair. You sure? Because... Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, is so he gonna keep doing that? Uh, I don't know how we're gonna enjoy the meal if that's gonna happen. That's. Okay, come on, buddy. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Enjoy your kibbles and bits, buddy.
what's so funny? Coming? It's Taco Tuesday. Same as you. You are the first to taste our newest line of frozen confections just in time for Christmas. We call this White Christmas Vanilla. Mr. Lutz is taking initiative, trusting his instincts. All good things, I assure you. Now, I know that we're veering away from vanilla this year, but trust me, this has a special ingredient that makes it so much more than just plain old vanilla. Enjoy. <laughs> first in a series of holiday flavors that uh, 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 perhaps uh, the product needs a, a little fine-tuning. Um, look the other side, maybe. Uh, Brendan, did you actually taste the product before calling in the company president to sample it? Well, I, I would have. It's just that I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. It tastes like liver. Nobody wants to eat liver-flavored ice cream. Well, the funny thing is, um, it was actually um, all Maggie's fault. <laughs> she, uh, she, she, she came up with, with everything. So, you know, Maggie. Brennan's right. He is? I am? I did create this recipe for a line of gourmet dog food. Well, uh, <laughs> I, um, uh, uh, dog food? Dog food that looks like people food so pets don't feel like they're missing out. When your family's eating their dessert at Christmas, they can give this to their dog. And you can take that principle and apply it across a range of flavors year round. Mr. Lutz. Uh. Tell me the truth. Did you leave your notebook out on purpose for him to find? Would I do that? You little schemer. I don't know what to say right now. I, I just, I, I mean, who lets their dog just roam around the house and do whatever he wants? He's a real alligator. So he's got good taste. I was gonna wear these today. I've got a very important meeting with some huge clients. They're Australian. Australians love alligator! Honestly, Chance, if you leave them out, he's gonna chew on them. He's a dog. This... this dog is a colossal pain in my... The pain in your whatever happens to be my friend, and a loyal one, too, which is more than I can say for some people. Well, how convenient for you.
Hey, pal. Come here. Next thing you know, you'll be working for corporate. You'll forget all about us little people. I could never forget you, Rosemary. You'd never let me. That is true. I would not. Hello? How are you? Uh, Bear's gone. Bear's gone? Uh, yeah, I, I guess I left the door open. He must have taken off. <laughs> hey, Maggie, uh, I mean, I'm sure he's gonna, he's probably gonna come back. He probably just needed a breather, he needed a break. I'm so sorry. He just took off, I guess. I didn't know who else to call. And... It's okay, Maggie. I'm glad you called. What's this? If you were looking for a dog, dogs we've got. We actually uh, just got this one in. No collar. I see so many like this. Here. Cute, right? Is all yours. What do you say? <laughs> Lead the way. Our dog. Are you, are you sure some guy just dropped him off and bolted? What guy? Who is this? My boyfriend. My ex boyfriend. Have you guys ever heard of microchips? This is the third time your dog has been here. Would it save us all a lot of time? Good idea.
The jig's up. No more chances. Chance. Our little inmates. We couldn't have Christmas without you, bud. <laughs> well, at least he's not boring. No, he's not. I'm probably gonna kiss you. I'm probably gonna let you. Leftovers all week. There's, There's only four, four of us. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can yeah. say it. <laughs> what I Want for Christmas by Ethan McPhail. <laughs> what I Want for Christmas isn't a set of encyclopedias. Although, if the ninth edition were to show up tomorrow morning, I certainly wouldn't object. <laughs> What I want for Christmas isn't even a pet. Although I have to admit, you're like the world's greatest dog. <laughs> what I want for Christmas is simply this. A family. Aww. 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 <laughs> OK, OK, enough of the mushy stuff. Let's eat. <laughs> To admit, in the frozen food aisle of life, this Christmas would definitely rank right up there with double chocolate chocolate chip. Jack would probably call it the home run of Christmases. Ethan might say it's the pearl button on the sweater of life. And Olivia would call it, well, I'm not exactly sure what she'd call it, but we'd probably all agree it's been the best Christmas ever. Maybe Christmas will never be picture perfect. Life is unpredictable. Holidays can be too. They don't always turn out the way we think they will. Sometimes, when we're surrounded by those we love, sometimes they turn out even better. <laughs>